Hey guys, it's Danny. Now these days, Valentine's Day is a family affair in my house. So I like to make a little homemade sweet treat that I can share with my hubby and my kids. So I am gonna show you guys what I plan to make this year. For this quick bite, I'm making my clean and delicious dark chocolate peanut butter cups. So the first thing you wanna do is measure out your chocolate and you're gonna need four ounces of dark chocolate. Now, it's a little bit more than that, but that's just fine. Then you need to set up your double boiler to melt your chocolate down. Just put a couple of inches of water in the bottom of the pot. Turn the heat on, let that water come to a simmer. Then place a glass bowl on top of the pot and add your chocolate in. And then I like to just give it a stir every couple of minutes to help it melt down. And now if you wanted to take a shortcut here, guys, you could also take your chocolate and melt it in the microwave for a couple minutes. Once your chocolate is all melted down and smooth and velvety, you are ready to start assembling your peanut butter cups. So you wanna buy these little candy cup holders. They're like cupcake holders, but even smaller. And then you're gonna drizzle about a teaspoon of the melted chocolate right into the cup. Then you wanna use your spoon to gently push the chocolate up the sides of the liner. The goal here is to create a little chocolate candy cup. Continue doing that till you're done with all eight peanut butter cups. Now, I'm just gonna pop this into my freezer and let them set up for 10 minutes. And while they're doing that, I'm gonna mix together my peanut butter mixture. I've got two tablespoons of peanut butter. Now, should you or anyone in your family have a peanut allergy, you could easily swap in a little bit of almond butter or even a sunflower seed butter. Two teaspoons of coconut oil, and then a little more than a tablespoon of confectioner sugar. I'm gonna mix that all together and set it aside. Now, here's the deal, guys. The confectioner sugar is completely optional, but what I discovered is that if you don't use it, once the peanut butter cups come to room temperature, the peanut butter tends to ooze out of them. Now, that's not a big deal if you know you're gonna have them at home and leave them in the fridge and just eat them as you want them. But if you plan to give them away or have them at room temperature for a period of time, then you might wanna go ahead and add the confectioner sugar because it helps bind the peanut butter together. Plus, it's only a little bit more than a tablespoon for the whole recipe, so there's eight peanut butter cups. Each one just gets a kiss of that additional sugar. Then, once our chocolate has set up, you're ready to add the peanut butter. Take a teaspoon of that peanut butter and just dollop it right into the center of the cup. You wanna be careful that the peanut butter doesn't go higher than the chocolate on the side of the cup. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna finish this off by drizzling the rest of the dark chocolate over the top of the peanut butter. Again, it's gonna be about a teaspoon of chocolate. And just for fun, if you can get yourself a fun little Valentine decoration or sprinkle, those are really festive to put on top. I found these really cute pink hearts. Okay. That's it, they're ready to rumble. Now what I'm gonna do is pop them back in the freezer, let them set up for about two hours, and then these guys are gonna be ready to serve. And then once they're all set up, they are ready to be taste tested. You just wanna make sure to take off this paper lining, and then take a bite. Mmm. <laughs> the rich dark chocolate with the creamy peanut butter this is a classic, but it is so much better with the higher quality ingredients and made with love. For this recipe and all my recipes, make sure you head on over to cleananddelicious.com. And if you guys aren't doing it already, make sure that you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook or on Pinterest. Let's connect and share and eat. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Now, if you wanted to take a shortcut here, guys, you could do it in the microwave. Now, if you wanted to take a shortcut here, guys, you could also just take a glass bowl and pop your chocolate in the microwave for a couple of minutes. So just do the best you can and have some fun with it. Have some fun with it. <laughs>